Hello everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I have been going over in the previous videos about Wix.com and the ad features that it has. So in the previous videos we showed you various things about strips, text, lists and grids, videos and music. And these are all great to help really make your profile very appealing and very useful. Well today we're going to go over the content manager. And if you haven't seen the videos before, subscribe to our videos to not miss another one. And hit the like button if you like them as well. So talking about the uh, content manager is exactly is what's going to give you all of the tools and all the resources to manage your site. Ra rather, it is going to be a blog website if it's a business, et cetera, et cetera, just as we went through before. So the content manager, all you do is you go down here, once you're in the add features, you'll see this, the choose template, or you can do a new collection, the data set, and the form data set. So I'm going to tell you, there's a couple of ways to do this as well. You can go straight into it, but sometimes if you're not going through in the ad section, if you kind of jump ahead and go into it, it won't always show up unless it's already provided for you in the template. Well, let's start with this way uh, into the content manager. So on the left side of the screen, scroll down to add, blah, 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 strip, 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 content manager. You'll see the choose template. Just click here. Uh, give it a second to load. You can start from blank and create one from the very beginning. Now, I found that this is this is awesome if you already have this experience. If you don't, it's good to kind of go ahead and select uh, a, a template that's already kind of built for you. Uh, so it shows you with team, projects, uh, your news, your portfolio, real estates, recipes, jobs, courses, whatever you want to like. Uh, so when I'm using team, Right now, we'll add it to the site. It takes just a moment, maybe two or three minutes for it to kind of go ahead and put everything together. Once you select this template, I think it's easier to do this because you can go in and just delete the pictures or delete the information and add it without taking so much time. So it kind of helps you here. It kind of gives you somewhat of a basis to build on, which is very, very useful for me. Uh, so let's see here, this creating the pages. And this is going to really open up a few more things. And this is why today's video is just about the content manager and nothing else unlike the previous videos, right? So let's see, loading, please wait. See, it's pretty fast and just adding this feature to you. So team. All right, as you see here, this is uh, going to be about the people that are working for you. And you can add them too uh, as well. So let's see, just here underneath name. You can do the full name, uh, the long description. So underneath that picture that you're going to have on the side of this page of just about your team, you're going to have this long uh, description about who this person is, what they do, etc. Right? Uh, under website, of course, it's going to be like Wix.com or specific information. It's a link or anything that you put. Remember, if you caught on the last videos, I showed you how to embed links and anchors. Well, this you can do the same as well. Uh, photos, if you want to change any of this, just just click on it one time and highlight, delete, and you can put. Uh, the description, the same thing. Here you go. You can even, if you click on the long description here, you have your properties. You can make it the primary. You can hide it if you want. You can sort it from A to Z or from Z to A, whichever you like. Uh, the photo, you just click the photo. It highlights it for you. Let's see, if you right-click on it one time, you can copy it, cut, paste, open in the form, you can add an item, or you can duplicate this picture as well. Email, the same thing as well. Nothing different, just click and edit. So this is what kind of makes this easier in my way. Uh, so you add the email, the short description, which is the small description here, the job title, what they do, and the telephone number. This is everything for you here, and the team name. So we can put John, so double click, you can highlight, delete, whatever you'd like, add item, duplicate, delete item, and once you just click delete, are you sure you want to delete this item? Delete, and it's deleted. The team, all, you can kind of organize it however you want. Doesn't really matter here. All right, and you can filter it. This is the team. Uh, so this, it takes you directly to it because that was the template that we used. Uh, highlight the name, add the name, right? We have John. There you go. All right, on the left-hand side, you see dashboard, booking services, booking calendar, customer management. This is everything here. Marketing, SEO, fantastic. Uh, when you click the dashboard, we'll let it load. 
Here you can get extra services. You can skip it if you don't want. You can get your site online. Go ahead and start. This just shows you everything that you have, right? Now your analytics here, site sessions, bookings, this tells you all the information that you need to know. When you click booking services as well, let it load and we'll go over it. You can, for this one, because it's the template that we're using for this site is exactly automotive. So it already kind of gives you mm, that pre that pre template for you here. But again, it's just an example for you to have. All right, so the tire change, this is all of your services that you can offer, and it's going to change with whatever site you want, but in essential, this is what it's going to be. Services, cooking, catering, etc. if you have this, if you have a blog, you can have an extra page with services for webinars, for, for any kind of presentations, you can have this as well. So you can set this up as well. When you click, it's going to pull up. Let's see one moment. All right, so once you click on it, it's going to give it full customization to you. So general info, you have your service title, you can change it. Again, just click, change the name. There you go, add, or you can say ZXE, whichever, just to type in to let you know it changes. The service subtitle, the description of media, it's optional, you have that as well. Service type, you can make it an appointment, a class, a course, again, whatever you like. The service details, how long is it, one hour, staff member, whose staff can provide this service. Remember the team? Well, this is, you can add this team member to this, and that will show you and let them know. So, hey, I'm going with this service. I can go and then see the person and what about them who's going to do the service for me. Uh, the type of location. Uh, price, you can do a fixed price, $30. You can change it. Just click custom price or no fee and the amount for it as well. Clients play the entire amount in person. You can change this. So you can make them see that it's going to be either in person. You can do this online, either online or in person, both or online deposit and the rest in person. So it's completely your choice as well, which gives a really good option. I haven't seen too many websites out there that allow you to do this online ahead of time. Uh, especially like this in the car service. So, uh, loving cars as myself, this is actually pretty cool. Video conferencing, you can add a video conference as well. Pricing plan, so uh, going back to the video conferencing, if you want to give them a quote based in person but online, uh, such as Zoom or Skype, you can add this video conferencing and you can speak to them in person here as well. Pricing plans, membership packages, you can add this to there, just click add. And complete the missing info before creating a pricing membership or package you need to fill out all required fields of this service so here it's not just going to this because we need to fill all this out additional settings set payment preferences customize your booking forms etc and this is it so let's say we like this we're going just to hit save uh, ah, the name let's make it uh, the XCY again we're going to save for you All right, you can set the working hours. Great, we saved our page. See, so you can save the name for you as well. So, all right, and this is everything about your booking service, your booking calendar. When you click on it, this is going to help you make a schedule and they can see what's free, uh, the free time, uh, daily, weekly, uh, specifically, however you want to set it up. Again, the staff which is very cool staff member sync google calendar so you can set the permissions you can add another staff member whichever you would like all right going back to the main menu we're going here the customer management here you can go to the crm home you can go to your inbox contact list your form submissions this is really cool here uh, the inbox is just your mail uh, the contact list we can select this it's just going to give exactly what it tells you all of your contacts and you can sync them you can import your contact uh, contacts and it shows these as well uh, and you can make new contacts you have more actions import export manage the custom fields give them labels whichever you would want uh, form submissions very useful especially when you're trying to manage it to understand okay someone has paid someone wants a class this is it so you can create a new form, pretty simple, just click. All right, it's going to just take just a moment to load and then we're gonna get rolling back into it. So again, this loading pages don't take very long at all. Um, minute tops, all right, now we're back here. So we added that, 
We already added it to it. So when we come here, let's see, app market, let it load, finish setup, Wix forms and payments. So once you finish and you click this button, it's going to send you up right here. The Wix forms and payments, that's because where we want to add, add the site. And now we're going to choose a form template. All right, so we got our template loaded here. So you're going to have these choices with your contacts. So you're going to have subscribers, payment forms, your multiple forms, your sales leads, your support, anything that you want as well. Uh, let's go to just subscribers. Uh, for example, it doesn't go along with this template, but just to show you. So choose the template. It's going to load. And it's going to put it in the front of the page. And there you go. And again, uh, remember about the page as far as the uh, trying to move it and get it in the right spot. We need to move this up to make space. This is glag and drop. There you go. And just move the strip. All right, we need to move the strip here. And once you click and drag the strip down, and you just drag and drop. And we went over that before. All right, there we go. You drag, you drop, there you go. This is the information. Now, once they hit send, uh, they're going is going to go to that content manager, which you can kind of see who your subscribers are. They're going to leave that email, their name. You can send uh, them information uh, based on that email as well. And just like all of the other ad features, uh, or even the strips, you get the form settings, you have the new field, you can add an element if you want, that comes over to the right. First name, email, you can select the ad and ask for more information, such as their birthdays, their companies they work for, their, uh, their names, everything that you want to add. Even a capture to make sure that they're not a robot, you can do. Alright, so that features, and then the layouts, and the design, and then the animation to drop in this form is the same as the other uh, ad features as well. All right, uh, for right now, I'm just going to delete just to get it out of my way so I don't see. Uh, all right, coming back to the background, bookings, content manager. So now that we added the content manager from here, this is the other spot. You can kind of go here with some pages already, but I wanted to show you to add it from the ad features. So then once you have it, you come back to your page, click on content manager, and this is going to give you everything. So now we have projects, the subscriptions, the teams, the contact forms, schedules, services, etc. All right, the staff, the coupons, if you wanted badges, it gives you all of that ready to go. Uh, you can also create a new collection if you want. Add content elements, a data set, form data set. Remember I showed you this sends the same as well as another template. That's pretty much it for the basics of this. Um, but when we come here, we can go, let's see, straight to our projects, let it load. So once you understand that what you want to do and what you what content you want to have, once you click on projects, team, whichever here, it's going to send you right back to the page when we added it. And here you go. So here it sent us to the projects that we already made. It's the same as it was in team. Nothing changes here. All right, we can still add, give info, short descriptions, info one. It gives you everything and pictures. So if you wanted to add a picture, remove a picture, download, upload, replace the image, whichever you want, you can replace it with a URL to send them to another site. That's it. All right, so then that's it for that. So now going to the analytic reports, this is going to the traffic. This is going to show you everything that you need to know to optimize your business. Traffic is exactly what it is. It's how many people are coming to your page, leaving your page, your sales, the people. You can even use the alerts or insights and benchmarks as well. So it's it's everything you need to know about how to really make your business the most profitable or it, how successful you are in your blog. And this lets you know. Finances, payments, price quotes. You have your invoices, finan uh, financial integrations. So it, not only does Wix allow you to build a cool website to get people to come to you, it also gives you the tools to really help your business truly grow. So definitely check this out. Uh, and here with the payments, for example, you have the payment forms. And this is what we need to do here. So we can manage it. And you can use everything that you want. 
manual payments so like they accept cash checks you connect it to your banking information however you want and this is this is the content manager this is everything that you need from the dashboard how cool is that right so here it's fully optimizable and that's why I wanted to make a video just on this because it is everything that you need It's I think is honestly the heart of Wix.com you can build a page but to not understand your traffic to not be able to uh, access the payment information if you don't have that information like how most professionals do you would be completely lost you just have a page with no new information coming to you so this is what makes Wix truly amazing is exactly that Wix is going to give you those tools to do this yourself without spending that money so if you guys like this don't forget hit subscribe hit like let me know if there's something I'm missing or something else that you would like to know alright guys thank you for joining us and I hope to catch you in the next video